up on chapter thing. <laughs> Great, thanks. Well, do you want your present now, Alyssa? Not sure I want it at all, just in case it's a kick in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing tonight, sir? I thought I'll be at the party. Well, someone's got a man the barbecue. Keep the burgers and sausages coming. Sam will tell you. I'm the barbecue king. <laughs> More like King of the Sad Dogs. <laughs> Oi, I heard that. So who's coming tonight then? I'm not sure, I told everyone. Oh, for God's sake, Tom. Are you trying to give us all salmonella? No, why? Uncut meats on the bottom, not on top of your coleslaw. <laughs> Sorry. My yes, someone's got a better idea of food hygiene than you. What's all this for, anyway? Oh, stuff for Josh's birthday barbecue tonight. How many people have you got coming? Why don't you think I've got enough stuff? But I, I might pop out later, get a few more bits. Crisps, that sort of thing. But unless you think that's a bit, um... Passe? Childish. You know, want to get this party right. How'd you get a party wrong? Well, I don't know. I just don't want it to be rubbish. Don't want anyone thinking Josh is lame, do I? No, you don't want Josh to think that you're lame. You want him to think that you're the cool dad. There's only one way you're going to do that. Don't be there. Yeah, leave him to it. What, do you think I should? No. Rose, this is Adam. I told you we're starting today. Rose. Rachel, I told you we don't need him. I mean, you think we've been serving up rubbish for the past year or something? We do the best we can on the money? Yes, and I'm not suggesting anything else. Why are you here in my kitchen? I'm here to make Waterloo Road a healthier place, to work with the kids and the staff, make sure the lunches are packing a nutritional punch. And you're saying that I can't do my job? Not at all, but it's not just about making the food. It's also about educating the kids so they know what they're eating and why they're eating it. Rose, Adam's a nice guy. He's not here to cause trouble or stand at anyone's well, I toes. I do want to get the job done, Rachel. I know, but I'm just saying Rose is safe in your hands, isn't she? Safe? You two know what I mean. I'm going to leave you to it. Get on with it. Is this someone's idea of a joke? Hmm? Who put this in my pigeonhole? I did, Granley. Depression? I'm not mentally unbalanced. No, and I'm not suggesting that you are. Granley. Granley, we've all got one. Yeah, I'm not singling you out. It's just part of the emotional health campaign. Oh, so I'm supposed to be looking for signs of depression in the kids now, am I? No, you're supposed to be looking for signs of depression in yourself or your colleagues. How? Do you know, we all know why stress levels go through the roof. Ofsted inspections, league tables, all of the paperwork that goes with them. Just read the leaflet. All right, if any of you recognise the, the symptoms or any of the warning signs of depression, you know where I am. Disturbed sleep, exhaustion, shortness of temper. It's not the symptoms of depression, it's the symptoms of being a teacher. <laughs> Lesson today, folks, as you can see. Find a bench and sit down quietly. Any room for me? I want you in pairs or groups of three, please. Josh, wanna pair up with me, mate? Nah, you're alright. Right, today we're gonna be looking at catalysts. Specifically, how they can speed up the reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> Oi, you two. Are you listening, Josh, Lauren? Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Right, what do we know about hydrogen peroxide? Anyone? Come on, don't be shy. Hydrogen peroxide. Um, it's a bleach, isn't it, sir? Good. Hydrogen peroxide is the active ingredient in most bleaching products. You've got hair bleach, toilet bleach, skin bleach, whitening toothpaste, but it's only in a really, really diluted form. Right, goggles on before I hand any of this out. What do you think? Yeah, they suit you. <laughs> so. I think it's gonna work. Well, I don't see why not. It's a simple enough concept. Bring your old clothes, swap them for new ones. Even I can grasp it. Actually, I meant, is it gonna work on Rachel? Presumably that's why you're doing this for brownie points. No, it's not. <laughs> right, girls, come on. Are these your contributions? Yes, just pop them on the table because they're all gonna need to be sorted. Ruby, listen, if there's anything I can do with it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get my head down. 
and I am going to make a success of this one little venture, just so Rachel gets the message. Out with the old and in with the new isn't always the way. Who <laughs> you call it old? Hey, I've been consigned to the scrap heap a few times. Anyway, here's my contribution. And don't you be snaffling them first. Is this out of your bag, Carla? I didn't know you had such good taste. Oh, I don't. It's my mum's. It's really old. Oh, it's not old. The word's vintage. Oh, really? Look at this. Oh, do you think I'd uh, be able to pull off the bow her look? Yeah. Some of this stuff's design again, look. I wouldn't be able to afford half this stuff if it were in the shop. Excuse me. The idea is that everybody gets a chance to look. It's not a sneak preview. And before you take something, you bring something. The idea is that you rejuvenate your old wardrobes and yourselves without splashing your parents' cash. Right, I need some volunteers, please, for this ironing, sewing on some loose buttons. Oh, well, I can help Mrs Fry. I've got a free lesson and I'm really good at ironing. Right, um, you lot can come back when it starts then, please. Thank you. <laughs> Off your pop. Oh, I don't care what she says. I saw that top first and it's mine. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to see you try it. Come on then. <laughs> Move. Come on, come on, Oi! Then. You two again? What are you doing? Nothing, Mr. Mead. Well, it didn't look like nothing. It looked like you were being stupid around dangerous chemicals and delicate equipment. Where's your goggles, Josh? On the floor. Well, they're not doing any good down there, are they? Stop flirting the pair of you and get on with your work. <laughs> Excuse me, we weren't flirting. Just get on with your work. All of you. Oh my god. I can't actually believe you just said that. <laughs> hey Roz. Hey. Take a seat. Actually, I was thinking about Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I know you're supposed to be my tutor, but I don't really know what that means. Basically, I'm just here to keep an eye on you academically. But I don't think we're going to have any problems with that, are we? I hope not. So these sessions are really about me being able to identify what you're passionate about and what you like to study at Oxford or Cambridge. I want to study French and law. Well, that's great. Um, and what are your interests outside of school? Um, loads of stuff, yeah. Books, music. Films. Any French films? Mm, Nouveau Vague. Goddard. <laughs> okay, it's fine because we're going to start really slowly. And don't you worry, you are going to be properly cultured by the time we're finished. <laughs> Miss, um, that's the dresses and the long things. And I've sorted everything else into Tops, bottoms, shoes and belts. Maybe I should sort everything by colour instead. No. No, it's wonderful. I'm so impressed. Thanks. Has anything caught your fancy? Because, you know, I think you should get first dibs. Uh, no, it's all right, miss. I don't like wearing clothes other people have worn. But you've worked really hard. I told you I like ironing. So you did. OK. Lovely. Pop off. I just think he's out of order. I know you keep saying. Yeah, but even if I was flirting with Josh, which I wasn't, it's nothing to do with him, is it? I suppose so. Cover for me, yeah? I always do, don't I? Thanks. Lauren? Yeah? I don't understand why you're so bothered. It's not as if anyone's watching. Yeah, I know, but um, I'll see you out there, yeah? Oi! 
pass it back, remember? Ow. <laughs> She's been paying attention, shouldn't you? I am. Oh dear, look hurts, doesn't it? What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Laura, don't make me say it. Say what? You two. You and Josh, you totally fancy each other. No, he doesn't. You mean you do? No. Come on, Lauren, you're always laughing and joking with each other. When he was pinching you in science, that's got to mean something. Well, we're just being daft, having a laugh. I mean, I laugh and joke with you, don't I? Do you want to go out with me? OK, don't get <laughs> Jumble sale. I just think you should get something to wear tonight. Don't start, Sam. All I'm saying is, Lauren, I think you should look nice. That's it. And I just think you're obsessing over me and Josh because you've got no chance of bolting. Hey. What are you two talking about? Um, swap me. We're going to find Lauren something fierce to wear tonight. She's going to look dead nice. I think you always look nice. Thanks. <laughs> right, uh, I'm just going to go quietly. Uh, like... Oh. My God, he loves you. <laughs> you need something knockout, Lauren. Something he'll just look at you and think, wow, sound. Trust me, Lauren. What about something sexy? No. Well, strap it. No. Something a bit see through. No, Sam. Um, let's just find a nice t shirt or something. T shirt? Wow. <laughs> Wondered if you needed a hand. Would you not think it's going really well? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it is. Hey, up. Got a visitor. See? Just like that and you're back on track. Really? Really. You know, Rubes, you need to lighten up. I think you should come round to my place tonight. I'll get us a bottle of wine, maybe even two, and we'll have a girly night in. And believe me, John can cope on his own for one night. Do you know, I'd really like that. Good. Where is it? I told you that green top was mine. Yeah, well, never mind that. My dress is gone as well. We're not leaving here without something decent. Hey, can I ask you something, Dad? Yeah. How do you know when a girl fancies you? Um, she wants to spend a lot of time with you. She's interested in everything that you say. Well, what if she is interested, but she just don't agree with anything? Well, um... And she always hits you and takes the mick and stuff. Oh, well, she definitely fancies you. Now you're taking the mick. No, no, um, Josh, I, I think you, you and Lauren... Are... Whoa, hang on. You said anything about Lauren? <laughs> What are you doing? 
Well, I'm coming with you. I actually do want to see what it looks like. Yeah, I'll just show you when I get out, yeah? Okay. Rubes. What do you think of this? It'd be nice as a seat cover on an Austin Allegra. Oh, so jealous. Oh my days. What are you doing? I saw them first. I don't think so. And uh, besides, they won't suit you. <laughs> well, at least they'll fit me. What did you say? I said, at least I'll be able to fit my backside into them. <sighs> Give them to me and I'll show you. I'll show you. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. They are five for on Alicia. You're on, mate. On. <laughs> I'm telling you, Alicia's going down watch. What's that on the Looks like corned beef. That's absolutely disgusting. Did you know there was something wrong with her? No. Why would I? I can't find my shirt. I thought she might have told you, you know what you two mean. What? I thought you were going out. As if. I can't find my shirt. Lucky escape, eh? <laughs> Come on. Let's get you decent, darling. Okay, boys, that's enough. Show's over. Um, I'm sorry, girls. Um, due to some very selfish behaviour, swap meets over. So go on. It's not even that bad. Not that many people saw. Don't lie. I'm not lying. Shut up. Just leave me alone. You better get down to the kitchen and sort out this hell coordinator of yours, because if I have to listen to any more of his crap, you just sort him out, Rachel, will you? Right, first he's starting the kitchen, changing what we were cooking at the last minute. Now he's rearranging the furniture. I told you I was going to make changes. Yeah, you did, Anna, but you said to the menu, not to the deco. How's this going to encourage kids to eat more fruit and veg? There's more to healthy eating than that. And anyway, my job's not just about what's going on in their stomachs, it's about their minds as well. I thought you were going to trust me. Rachel, come here. Look at this. Shepherd's pie. Yeah, I can see that. Twenty of them. Half meat, half vegetarian. That's what he has us cooking. Okay. And he expects us to serve them like waitresses. I tell you what, Rachel, it is a good job Candice is not here because she would freak out about this. About what? Please, can someone just tell me what's going on? We're having a proper meal at lunchtime, a communal eating experience. Instead of just grabbing a sandwich, the kids are going to sit down, serve out the food and talk. That's never going to work. It already did at the community centre that I ran. I started it when I realised the way the kids were eating there was the same way they were eating at home. On the fly, shoveling the food whilst they watched telly and did homework. I bet that's how you eat. Um, I usually eat while I'm watching the news. But just like most people in this country, watch and shovel, that's all we do. I mean, the dinner table used to be where people talked about the day. You know, relaxed enough to share their worries and their problems. Well, I found that if we encourage mixed tables, different years, members of staff all eating together, then that's what happens. What do you think, Matt? Well, why didn't he say all that in the first place? She has got a point there. Look, I'm here to get things done. I'm sorry if I'm not the nice guy you seem to remember me as. Oh, come on, Adam. I'd better get on. Oh, by the way, it'd be nice if the staff joined us at lunchtime. Well, get lost, did we? Uh, sorry, Emily, Mr. Clark. Sit down. Right, as I was saying, writers have to have sympathy with all of their characters. Not just the heroes, but the villains too. They need to understand why they do villainous things. So today, we're all going to be baddies and monsters. Thank you. We're going to write a page 
on why our characters do strange or terrible things. And then we'll read them out. Lauren. So use the most convincing. Um, you swap with me, I don't even know who mine is. Um, are you trying to be funny? Like I said, I don't know who it is. Just give me mine back. It's too late now. Right. Finn, who have you got? Hannibal Lecter. OK. Uh, Sam? Oh, I've got the big bad wolf, but is it from Three Little Pigs or Little Red Riding Hood? Well, I'll leave that for you to decide. Lauren, who have you got? Cosy Murder. <laughs> OK. Who's that, sir? Well, come on. What, Cosimodo? Well, surely the name must ring a bell. <laughs> With him, sir, the hunchback. What else would it used to do? Oh. It's not funny, it's discrimination. He didn't choose to be disabled. Good. Right, let's get on with it, shall we? Got a minute, Grant Lee. I need your help. Um, I'm planning a visit to London for the APU students. And what has London done to deserve that? It was a cultural trip. You know, the v &A, Tate Modern, we play at the National in the evening. Evening? Mm. What time are you getting back? Well, the next day. We're planning an overnight. Teenagers and cheap chain hotels should never mix. Ditto me and overnights. I think Rachel begs to differ on that one. What? Well, something about it being your turn and that I shouldn't take no for an answer. So, here's the proposed itinerary. Let me know if you've got any suggestions. Thank you very much. Well, how would you like it? A lot of pigs just turning up and building the houses on your land. <laughs> and there were scruffy houses as well, made out of twigs and straw. <laughs> and then there was Little Red Riding Hood. She was just trespassing. Excellent. OK, Lauren. Oh, no, I don't want to mind crap. Well, uh, I'll be the judge of that. Come on, everyone else has had a turn. Well, let's hear it then, Quasimodo. <laughs> <sighs> it's just because I look different. That's why you're all scared of me. You can only see what's wrong with me and not what's right. Don't you think I'd change it if I could? I mean, don't you think I know? I know that I'm hard to look at. <laughs> I don't even like looking at myself. If I could, I'd... Break every mirror. Break it into a thousand pieces. Well, I don't know what you were worried about. That was excellent. Well, you really thought about things from Quasimodo's perspective. Now, that was both empathetic as well as sympathetic. So, can anyone tell me the difference between empathetic and sympathetic writing? I thought I was tired. So very tired. Thought nothing of the sense of disconnection. Having no energy, no sleep. And when I did sleep, the dreams. How long has this been going on for, Grantley? Feels like an eternity. It's just, you've never really shown any sign of this before. In fact, this morning you actually suggested that depression was for wimps. Well, that's what we depressives do, isn't it? Put up a facade. Okay. Let me, uh, let me make some calls. Yeah. See if we can get you some help. In the meantime? Well, in the meantime, 
I'm going to go and have a word with Rachel. I think maybe you might need a leave of absence. Oh, thank you. Lauren! Get stuff, you heard her. Don't worry about it, mate. It's not your fault she's a freak. I suppose. Besides, it's your birthday. And? And there's going to be loads of talent at your party. We need her. Don't worry, mate. It'll be all right. Hey, Josh. I'll leave you to it, then. I was, uh, I was thinking about your party. Well, maybe I could go out for a couple of hours, you know. Long enough for me to have a pint, long enough for you to have a dance with Lauren. Just give it a rest, will you? It's not even coming. Right. Come on, Lauren! It's not my fault Josh has been a stupid get. Oh, he is, is he? Of course he is. Laughing with Finn and the other lads like that. Yeah, well, it wasn't this morning, though, was it? Not when you nearly tried to have us married. That was before. What, before you told everyone I was disabled? I didn't say you was disabled, I just said that... Okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it. I was just trying to help. But this is why you never get a shower after pee though, isn't it? Because of your scar. It's not a scar, Sam, it's a birthmark. I've had it all my life. Okay. Just thought you might have been in a fire or something. Well, you don't wrong. Lauren, this isn't my fault. It isn't my fault you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I thought we were supposed to be best friends. What? Can we have a look? At what? This weird thing on your back. Oh. Everyone's talking about it. Ah, Miss Mason. Perhaps you can enlighten me. I will always try, Mr. Badger. When I was informed that my presence was required in the dining room at lunchtime, I had assumed that I would be fed and watered. Yes, that's the idea. Well, then perhaps you can tell me why I am standing in the corridor with the pupils when I could be in the staff room with a cheese and pickle bar. Everybody hungry? Yes, we are. Okay, let's get in. Hey, Al, what's going on? Yeah, where's the group? They'll be out in a minute. Listen, we're doing something a little bit different today, so everyone take a seat and we will get started. Like, it would be nice if the teachers didn't all just sit together. I mean, come on, mix it up a bit. Right, ladies, let's go. Come on, don't just look at it, get stuck in. Shall I be mother? Uh, yeah, I'm just covering for Grantley. I just I want to be careful not to load any extra pressure at work on him at the moment. That extra pressure like a school trip? Well, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a definite no-no. Kim, it's his turn, and I can't do this APU out in without somebody's help. Well, I know you don't really agree with the scheme, I know, but... Grantley's supposed to be going on that trip? Yeah. When did you find that out? This morning, I told him. <laughs> oh... Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Lovely. Thanks. Oi, plate! Don't just get up and walk away from the table at home, do you? Give it with his cup to hand. Well, that's usually me. Oh, yeah? What do you cook? Uh, beans on toast, egg on toast, bacon on toast. Why do I get the thing that your entire repertoire is on toast? Well, you know, you're cooking for one. Well, I could show you some simple recipes. I mean, really simple, but more exciting than toast. Yeah. Oi, have you got a problem? No. What's your problem? I don't have one. You do. If you didn't want me to come to your party party, you should have just said, all right? Fine, I will. You're not invited anymore. I'm not freaks so out. <laughs> nice one, mate. Guess stuff. What 
do for you? Um, I was just wondering if you need any help setting up the apparatus. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Uh, but it is your lunch break. Don't you want to be outside with your mates? No, thanks. Okay. Well, it's the same setup as this morning. It's still on the board and the equipment's in the cupboards. Now, I'm trusting you with these, right? Yeah. Great. One set of kit per bench. I'll see you later. Oh, can you manage? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Let me. Thanks, Tom. Where are we going with them? My car, please. Oh, yeah, heard about Lauren Andrews at your swap mint. Oh, dear, the poor girl. You know, everybody's all standing around laughing at her. Is it me or are the kids getting crueler? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it used to be just the girls that were spiteful, I and mean, now the lads, they're just as bad. Oh. Well, I'm lucky in that respect. I mean, Josh might not be the top of the class, but at least he's a nice lad. I'm not sure Lauren would agree with you. What do you mean? Well, Josh was right there with Bolton Smiley and Paul Langley, all of them. They're all just laughing their heads off. What? The little... Yeah, but... Oh, sorry. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, let me give you a hand. No, oh, but you wrapped him and put labels on uh, Reserve price £20? Yeah. But I thought the whole purpose of the swap was that no money changed hands. Didn't. It's amazing what you can sell online these days, isn't it? I thought this was for the kids. I, it was. Oh, Tom, don't tell Rachel. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ruby, but in my book this is stealing. Tom! Tell me what your family's favourite meal is. Told you so we don't eat together. I mean, it doesn't have to be at the table. It could be uh, curry in front of the telly, pizza, drive through burgers. I usually have, like, pasta. It's really boring. Boring? It doesn't have to be boring. We're talking about chilies, capers... Excuse me, Finn. Lessons are about to start. Right. I'll catch you later, mate, and I'll have some recipes for you, right? Now, he's exactly the sort of kid that my sit-down lunches are for. I'm sure he is. I think today went well, don't you? Yes, it did. It wasn't an unqualified success. Really? It's not one getting off the kids like Finn. Yeah, kids like Finn have a habit of taking advantage, which is one of the things I needed to understand. Adam, are you listening to me? You know, I could put Rose in touch with some great suppliers, get a bit of stuff from this. She's bought some real rubbish. Well, maybe you could find a more sensitive way of putting it when you do speak to her. Yeah, whatever. You know what, I think you really need to understand how important Candice and Rose are to this school. They do deserve to be treated with respect. I trod on some oversensitive toes. Rose isn't oversensitive. In fact, I'd say she was robust, but you are pretty full on. I love my job. I believe in what I do. And that is great. But you have to be so aggressive about aggressive. it. Aggressive? OK, enthusiastic or dynamic. I didn't expect you to be so dynamic. No, of course you didn't. You expected me to be a pushover like I was before. Well, I'm not like I used to be. Look, it didn't matter to me. You were sweet and you were nice. And look how far that got me. Now, you taught me a valuable lesson back then, Rachel. What was that? Nice guys finish last. Not always. And they never get the girl. That was a really long time ago, Adam. <laughs> oh, you've got to be joking. Let me have a go. Oh, claustrophobic. No, this is not awkward. All right, keep the noise down and find a seat, please. Mr. Clarkson. Uh, need a quick word with Josh and Lauren, please. Well, I can give you Josh. Uh, where's Lauren? Well, I, I thought that she must have got sent home after what happened this morning. Uh, no, I don't think so. Sam, uh, do you know where Lauren is? 
I'm not seeing her since lunchtime. We had a bit of a fallout. Oh, I am popular. <laughs> Looking for Lauren Andrews. But you and all? No, she's, she's not here. I've got chemicals missing. Hydrogen peroxide. I left Lauren in the lab on her own and that was the last time I saw it. Well, why on earth would she take that? I have no idea. Is Lauren all right? Uh, Sam, have you any idea where she might have gone? Think. All I know is that he upset her this morning. Right, well, uh, look, uh, we need to find her. Kim, will you let Rachel know? Can I come too, please? She's my friend. What about me? You stay there. All right, everyone, can you just carry on working as you are? I'll be back in five minutes, OK? I'm going to go find Miss Mason. Ridiculous, we're going to be in here all night. At least we won't starve to death. Oh, thank you, that's a huge comfort. <laughs> what? You always have to be in control, don't you? You always did. Look, if I did something to you back then, I didn't know about it. I thought that you and I were friends. Friends? Well, that was sort of the problem. Oh. It's not my fault, is it? Shouldn't you be over it by now? Over it? Why well, should I just got over it? What do you think I've been trying to do for the last umpteen years? Oh, come on! Well, it's a good thing. I mean, losing the weight, the attitude adjustment. That was all thanks to you. Well, look, when we lost touch and you had to sort myself out, and so I did. Well, I'm happy for you. Well done. Maybe I was a bit too eager to show off the new and improved Adam Fleet. Maybe I came off as a bit of a jerk. A bit. All right, a total another jerk. <laughs> uh, Adam, look. Um, yes, hello, Kim. We're in here. Kim. In here, Kim. What? Can you let us out? What? Thank you. Uh, what are you doing in there? Joyce said you'd come down. I don't. Guess. Finn Sharky. I want to see him in my office. Well, he's gonna have to wait. with a chemical burn. What was she doing? She was trying to get rid of her birthmark, Josh. Apparently someone made her feel so damn miserable about it, she felt burning herself was the only way to deal with it. Is that what was going on in my English lesson? Was it? Josh? It weren't just me. She's supposed to be your friend. She's been nothing but nice to you since you got here and you do this to her. I didn't do anything to her. What? I'm ashamed of you. For the very first time. And I don't like it. And I don't like you very much. 
I didn't know she was going to get that upset. Well, now it's your turn to get upset, because I'm cancelling your party. Oh, that's tight, that. Why? Because you don't deserve it. Uh, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Get back here. And you lot, do one. I'm talking to Josh. Oh, and you. Miss Mason wants a word with you before you go home. And Finn, don't ever use one of my lessons to victimise a pupil again. You got that? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Of course not. I mean it. No party and you're grounded for two weeks. Now get out of my sight. Were you wanted to see me? Yes, but I, I'm, I'm sorting something else out right, right now. It's fine. I'll come back tomorrow. No, no, no. You can wait. Campbell, as you can see, I've made it to the end of another day. Yeah, well, I suppose we should be thankful for that, eh? Look, I've had a word with Rachel, uh, and she agrees. She thinks you should have some time off. In fact, well, she couldn't believe that you were still managing to get into work at all. Has been a struggle. So, uh, how long were you thinking, then, for your recovery? Perhaps till the end of term. Is that all? But you think longer? Well, we were wondering if you might like to make it permanent. What? You are an acute case of depression. I mean, when I reread this leaflet, you put your textbook, aren't you? No. Oh, well, you are showing all the major signs of having a breakdown. I wouldn't say that. I'm not sure we should even be letting you in classrooms with kids. You could snap at any time. What? How dare you? I'm not some kind of nutcase. No. no, I think there's plenty of method in your madness, Grantley. So, if you're feeling better, Joe's looking forward to spending some time with you on the London trip. Look, before this goes any further, I have not had a chance to explain myself. No, that's because I don't want to hear any more lies from you, Ruby. I just don't know what options I've got left with you. The farm trip, the... The state of your whole department, and now this? Yeah, wait, because I can't explain. You organised a school event so you could make money from the kids. No! No, it wasn't like that. I didn't even have the idea and... and... It wasn't like that. And I haven't made a profit, and I had to take everything off the website, and it cost me money to put it on there in the first place. So, you know, actually, I'm out of pocket. Oh, I'm supposed to feel sorry for you, am I? Mm -hmm. I'm worried that you might be suffering from depression. I'm not depressed. I just don't like to earn my dirty laundry in public. Well, that's fine, but if you don't talk, then I can't protect you. Look, I know that I have messed up, you know, and I'm sorry, and I promise, I promise, it won't happen again. Let's get this clear. If I see you in this office again, I'm going to be forced to start disciplinary proceedings against you. Oh, no, but... No. But nothing. I don't need or want teachers like you, Ruby. You know where you stand. You can go. Stay where you are. Hello? Hiya. <clears throat> You're alright? How's it? It's a bit sore, but it's not too bad. Have you got something to say to her? Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to say it then. Does it hurt? Yes. God, I'm 
I'm really, really sorry. You know I didn't mean it, Lauren. Then why do it? You know what it's like when you're with your mates and... But I thought I was your mate. You are. Look, I'm not the only one who did something stupid. Yeah, but I only hurt myself. But it's the same thing, isn't it? We have the same problem. Oh, really? So where's your birthmark then? No, what I'm saying is we both want to be like everyone else. You don't want to be the... the... School freak? No, and I don't want to be the new kid whose dad's a teacher. Oh, well, that must be awful for you. I'm just explaining. Yeah, but you are the new kid, and Mr Clarkson is your dad, and you acting like a total idiot isn't going to change that. Just like I can't do anything to change what's on my back. So, if you don't like what I am... Fair enough, I'll leave no, you alone. I really, really like being your friend. It's just hard sometimes. Do you get that? Yeah, I guess. Maybe I'll just have to try a bit harder. A lot harder. Okay. Idiots. Oh, bring it on, sunshine, because I am so in the mood for you. Why the hell? Hey, are you all right? I'm really sorry, yeah. I saw you there, but you weren't indicating. <laughs> Wasn't I? I should have just let you out. I'd never forgive myself if it had damaged your car. Or you, for that matter. Well, no harm done, eh? That's the good news. Why, what's the bad news? I've been talking to a beautiful lady like yourself, and I still don't know your name. It's Stephanie, but you can call me Steph. Oh, no, I like the full Monty. Stephanie, it suits you. I'm Oliver. Hi, Oliver. What do you say to a brandy, Stephanie? Well, it's, it's gonna be all right. You reckon? Yeah. She wants some cake. Well, that makes it all all right then. I'm really sorry, Dad. So am I. What are you sorry for? I'm sorry because I don't think it's working, Josh. I don't think it's doing you any good living with me. Cake's in the fridge. Probably for the best. If you can't take orders from us, I don't know how to cope in the real world. Okay, so if he's got such a problem with authority, why don't we trust him with some here? Hmm? Show him teaching's not as easy as he thinks. Yeah, I suppose. You volunteering? 